Hi, this is Charity and welcome to the 24 while 24 checklist challenge. We're just working on our rocket ship here because we need to get to Sixum. So the rules for this challenge will be linked in the description below as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. So last time we got married and I think we completed a couple of quests. I don't remember which ones they are, but you can check the playlist if you'd like to review. So right now we're working on getting to six up, which means we have to work on our rocket science skill. We are on a lot with all of the lot challenges enabled, except for the ones that we got to remove last time. I don't remember that either. Sorry, I'll have to recap this. It's just that I haven't done this series in a while because it's been five months. I don't know why. I think I skipped this series last season and the reason why is because I actually did it at the beginning of last season and now I'm doing it at the end of this season. So it's been way too long. So what I'm trying to do is use no mods and no cheats except for cheats that are necessary to complete the challenge. Here is our husband Brody and we have a haunted house and i think we have a dust bunny in here that may or may not be a good thing all right so i want to get three dust bunnies so that i don't get any dust fiends so we might want to throw away all the stuff and take care of some of the dust one good thing about being in a haunted house is that Ghidri will completely fill up your energy bar if you're low on energy. He will also give you something to eat if you need something to eat. I think that we actually don't get anything to eat this time. Okay, well, oh, is there stuff to eat in here? There is, okay, mine. Okay, we're at level nine of the rocket skill. So we only have to be level 10. I think we've got this under control and we'll be able to go to Sixum provided we have enough money to install the wormhole generator. Um, that might be a problem. Well, it's taking a lot longer than I anticipated to get to level 10. It's almost been an entire day and she's still level nine and she has about halfway to go. I don't have enough money to make the wormhole generator, so I'm not sure if I should just try going to space or doing these upgrades. The reason why I haven't been able to get to level 10 is that I keep having things happen where she's tense, she's uncomfortable, she's embarrassed, and her skill's not going up fast enough. And then having to navigate needs as well, that's a problem. Okay, it's 9 p.m. and Ghidri is still not here. He's supposed to be here, I think, around 7? Or maybe it's 9. I don't remember. But we'll try taking a little nap, waiting for him to come. There he is. Okay, we only have until... I'm not sure if it was the end of Tuesday or the beginning of Tuesday. It might be the beginning of Tuesday, so I think I'm not going to win this just because I had so much trouble with my needs and we're going to have to try and get a good start for the next challenge. Okay, I just checked and yes, we had until the beginning of Tuesday. So, oh, we're gonna delete all inventories. Sim, household, object, and cheat away the simoleons so that means we lose everything in our inventory and everything in our household inventory that's not so bad at least it's not bulldoze the lot that is a really bad penalty okay so in my inventory i have some trash i have a vacuum i have uh some stuff and inventories means item inventory too so anything in the refrigerator must go and the fish in here have to go. I think that's it for things that have inventory. Nothing else in here should have an inventory. And I'm not going to count things that are on the wall. That doesn't count. Oh, I do have this, but this was found in the dumpster and should be zero simoleons anyway. So my simoleon amount is 1,014. Now I need to figure out how to get rid of these things. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them in the dumpster. 
because uh, it's just too hard otherwise to get rid of these things. And then I will sell and repurchase my dumpster so that it's empty again. Okay, now we have to spin again, and Sixum is back on the wheel. So what will we have to do this time? Transform into an occult sim. Oh, this is going to be easy. So we get to go to the magic realm and finally become a spellcaster. I'm glad that we got this before we had to get rid of the night wraith fear. So we can start working on the magic realm stuff now. Okay, and we only have one day to do this since that was the only choice left. I'm not going to spend. And here we are in the magic realm. And we're going to introduce ourselves to El Faba, and we're going to become a magic user, hopefully. Um, it's not making me collect the moats. I don't know why. Sure, I'm born ready. Um, no, I have to collect the moats. Okay, that was just to give me the moat site. Great. All right, well, this won't take too long. It's just a little boring. Okay, now we're going to become an actual spellcaster. All right, well, that was easy. Okay, while we're here, we will get some things from the magic realm. Um, I'm not sure if we really want a familiar, but you can steal this familiar that's over here on this fireplace. Sure, we'll get one. We just won't use it. I need to get the Curse of the Night Wraith, though. And I think you can only get that when you are a low-level spellcaster. I think it's from Failing Duels. Although maybe it's not good to get that ahead of time. Well, it'll make all the other challenges really interesting. And we have the Potion of Plentiful Needs. Well, that makes it really easy. Now you may be wondering why I didn't come to the magic realm in the first place before I did my rocket ship attempt. And the reason is I'm not allowed to do these quests or to actually go anywhere off my home lot unless it's required by the quest I'm doing. So we have to get all the spells that we can, but I don't want to actually be top level spellcaster because then I'm less likely to get that curse of the night wraith. Okay, luckily she has apples. I need those. Oh, the Tome of Dedeathify. Okay, this will be needed later. I'm going to buy that just in case I can get all the way up to the level of master. Okay, it's time to lose some magic duels. I'm pretty sure Amelia is a pretty high level spellcaster. I don't remember though, she is part of the charm family, but she's the girlfriend of Daryl or maybe fiance. But anyway, she probably has more skill than I do. All right, so if I lose a lot of duels, that supposedly has a chance of giving me... Why are you going to get water? Oh, so annoying. Don't do that. Okay, since I used my Potion of Plentiful Needs, I will try to make another one since I have a bunch of apples. And this should go pretty well. One way to make sure that you fail a spell is to try to zip zap a sage. Um, what? It actually worked? Come on, I should not have been able to do that. <laughs> Well, fine. I will try to duel you, even though I'm enraged. Um, whoops. Enraged is probably a bad thing. Hopefully she doesn't get super angry. Calm down. Okay, here's the second duel that we're going to lose. You almost always lose duels for knowledge. And when you're dueling the sages, you almost always lose as well. Even if you have the ability to win a lot of duels through the perk points, you will still lose against the sages. Which makes a lot of sense, I guess. Okay, let's see. I am overcharged, or at least near overcharge. Oh, come on. Why are you going up to the second floor? You are outside. 
I don't know why, but she's got to come all the way up here to ask him to duel. Pathing in this game is just so weird. Okay, now I have a curse of too many duels. Okay, now I need to overcharge myself by casting Reperio. But I can only overcharge myself once. If I do it again, I might die. So, yeah, I have to be careful. Um, let me extinguish this. I didn't overcharge, though. Okay, maybe if I make a potion... It might also be because I'm in the magic realm that I can't overcharge. That might be a problem. Although that's supposed to be a perk ability, which I have not purchased. So maybe it's just less likely to overcharge in the magic realm? Okay, it looks like I'm about to overcharge. No, of course not. I didn't even fail. I succeeded at that. All right, try to overcharge one more time. Come on, I must be overcharging now. Okay, final stage of charge. Great power and magic ability. Great chance of failures, backfires, and curses. Also, chance of death by overload. Magic carefully. Okay, so... Yeah, I didn't get any curse from that. <sighs> Alright, I did get the uncomfortable buff, though. So... I'm not sure if I should continue to do magic. Yeah, I, if I overload again, it's going to be really bad. Maybe if I just cast one more spell, it'll be okay. All right, hopefully one more spell is not enough to kill me. Okay, it doesn't look like it is. All right, it did backfire though. I did not get a curse. Why did I not get a curse? Maybe there's a cooldown on it. All right, what if I fail drinking a potion? Maybe that will work. Although that might increase my charge. Does it? Yeah, um, I should definitely not drink any more potions or do any more potions. Time to go home. Okay, another thing I need to get started on right away is having some kids because if anything happens to zero i need someone to do the challenges so i'm allowed to have children in the household but not my partner so as long as we can get this started early i think we'll be okay and it's free to have kids the old-fashioned way, um, but it costs money to have science babies. So, yeah. Now, if I can get her pregnant, then that actually prevents her from dying. So, that might be a good thing to do. And we're eating for two. Okay, so now she can't die from overcharge. But she also can't do things like explore space base so that's the trade-off of being pregnant is that you might lose more challenges due to the fact that she's the only one in the household okay let's just take a shower okay brody is feeling a romantic connection and wants to suggest a date sure i guess we'll do it oh we get to pick okay it's going to be a romantic date. I wish he would pick because he's the one suggesting the date. Yeah, we're just going to do things here. <laughs> and this may or may not work out well. Okay, it looked like she almost overcharged again. I'm not doing any magic though. Why did that almost cause her to overcharge? It's a good thing I'm pregnant. I think she would have died there. Okay, it looks like he went to sleep. I don't know why. Come on, we're on a date. Wake up, Brody. I really need to get some power so that I can actually vacuum up here. But it's unfortunate that the power doesn't work. And even if I was able to upgrade this vacuum, or actually the vacuum that I don't have. <laughs> yeah, so 
even if I had a vacuum and I upgraded it to use bits and pieces, it wouldn't use the bits and pieces. It would basically not work because we're off the grid. It's just ridiculous. Okay, we actually did succeed at today's quest. So what are we going to remove? We get to move out of Strangerville. Not that that is really all that much of a help right now. So yeah, we can move anywhere we want. What world would we like to live in? Because we can't leave the lot very often. So maybe a place that has a way to earn a lot of money. Okay, we're going to go ahead and roll for the next quest because I'm on a date. I don't want to move right away. Oh no. Eat the cow plant's cake? We can't. It won't let you if you're pregnant. Okay, this is the disadvantage of being the immortal pregnant woman on The Sims, is that you can't do certain things. So we are going to fail this unless we can have the baby before this quest is over. Okay, how long do we have to do this? Four days? Four days? Yay! Okay, so we do stand a chance of being able to do this. Maybe because we have four days, but we really need to get a cow plant berry super quick. I mean, like right away. I don't remember how long it takes to grow them, but I do know that it takes a while and four days may not be enough time to grow it, but we definitely will have the baby by then. Okay, I just thought about this and I have another thought. Um, not only does the cow plant have to grow, but the cow plant has to have the cake available. I'm not sure that's going to happen in time. So yeah, we might just have to put everything in our inventory and move and cancel this date. Sorry. Okay, unsuccessful. No reward earned, but hopefully he's not mad about it. Okay, I have no idea what happened, but Basically, my game glitched when I moved and it said I had zero simoleons because it actually had negative simoleons. So anyway, I don't know why. I bulldozed the lot. I should have had enough money to afford this and it let me move. But then I have no idea how many simoleons I had. I just took a guess and gave myself 8,000 simoleons because I didn't want to go back and look at the video. So we're going to live in Hinford on Bagley. And the reason why we're doing that is because of the stall that's in the area. So hopefully we can get a cow plant when the stall opens at 9 a.m. Okay, the Sims team needs to make it so that the mold piles don't appear where you can't clean them. Anyway, I no, we're not gonna wash in the wash tub. We're going to mop the puddles. Anyway, we have to go into town and see if they have any cow plant berries. They do have dragon fruit, at least for delivery. So that might be a nice thing to get. Okay, the thing is, I don't know if cow plant berries will be here or in the grocer. I got a discount, but it looks like not here. No, but she does have apples for some reason. I think maybe I'll check the grocer. Oh, I get to buy discounted grocery shop items? Maybe because I didn't buy anything from the flower shop? And no cow plant berry. Well, I guess we can get a dragon fruit, which we actually can use that to graft it. But that's going to take way too long. Do you at least have any snapdragons? Probably not. It looks like no. No snapdragons, really? Okay, we don't have any snapdragons, but we can get fall plants and spring plants, and we have a chance to get a snapdragon. Okay. Let's see if we can get lucky again with haggling. Okay, I was only able to get one of each. I bet I didn't get any. No, we did not get any. Well, I can buy them from Build Buy. But that's going to take a long time, I have a feeling. Okay, maybe if I'm uncomfortable, I will be more likely to get a curse. Not really. 
Well, at least now that I am a spellcaster, I can get the money from this birch furniture because I can sell it after I repair it. Oh, no, whoops. Fire! Come on, don't burn anything else. Although, if it does, it really doesn't matter. Yes, there's a fire. Put it out. <laughs> I'm going to have so many fires. Okay, now she's an acolyte. Oh, we got a cow plant berry and a frog from the dust bunnies. Well, thank you for saving me, dust bunnies, but I think it's still not going to matter. Oh, she likes handiness. That's surprising. I am going to pee myself, aren't I? Because I drank that potion. Come on, go to the bathroom. She's going to pee herself, isn't she? She's going to pee herself. Oh, she barely made it. Okay, I don't know if it helps, but I have some bees out here. So maybe they'll help it grow faster. I'm not sure what else can make it grow faster. Okay, we did max the rocket science skill. So we can now install the wormhole generator. And I'm still waiting on this cow plant to pop up. So I just want to be prepared if we get that go to Sixum again, we will not fail next time. Because all we have to do is install the wormhole generator. And I'm allowed to work on the other ones when I'm waiting for things to be done, as long as it's not completely related. Like, for example, I would not be able to go to the Magic Realm if I wasn't assigned to go to the Magic Realm. So we still need to work on that as well. Because I have a feeling that that is going to be the hardest one to get. I'm just not getting any curses at all. Whenever I fail spells, it just doesn't give me a curse. Now, losing duels actually gave me a curse. So maybe if I try to do more duels, that might work. If I call my friends over, maybe we can have a magic user come. I'm not sure if I can duel while I'm pregnant though. No, I can't duel. I guess it's because I'm pregnant. That's annoying. Okay, we have a little cow plant. I don't think it's going to make it to full grown, but we'll see. Okay, well, we failed blending that potion and I don't know why. Our charge is low. We're in a good mood. We are using the least desirable um, thing, but I... Th what? We can't bottle it up? Oh. It is in our inventory. So we have a potion of questionable contents, which is nice. Fire. Is there a volcanic bomb happening? Yeah. Okay. Well, go upstairs, put out the fire. Wherever it is. Oh, there it is. It should be fine. It's not next to anything, so it's not going to cost me anything. Okay, let me extinguish it, please. Okay, I keep failing these spells and starting fires, but I'm not getting cursed. I don't understand this. Well, I'm just going to overload myself. I'm not sure if I can overload as a pregnant sim, though. It seems like she's not getting overloaded. Okay, if I don't overload this time, then there's something wrong with being pregnant and trying to overload as a spellcaster. She didn't fail. There's no way. Okay. Overcharged. She's overcharged. Now tell me you're going to overload. Okay, yeah, she's overloading. It's okay, though. That's only the first time. It's okay to overload the first time. She did not get cursed, though. Well, that just means we need to try again. Okay, and she immediately overloaded again. Now she can't die. but I'm hoping for a curse. No curse? Come on. I think it's impossible to get cursed. There's no way that should result in no curse. It's just, 
ridiculous. She even went down to no charge. Although she does have the magical overload for nine more hours. Okay, how is the cow plant doing over here? It looks like the bees are affecting it but I don't know if it will make it grow fast enough or not. It needs to grow up fully and then have a cake. And then Zero also needs to give birth, which should be pretty soon. I should probably buy a bassinet so I can pick which one I want. Okay, I'm overloading again. Okay, I magically overloaded with that buff and that's supposed to make me die. But, okay, it didn't. I got a fear. Oh, I got the curse of uncontrollable charge, even though it's not showing up on my panel. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I have the curse of uncontrollable charge. Will I get another curse? I don't know. I think you can only get three curses. It looks like there's only room for three. Now, I'm not sure when she's supposed to have this baby. It's pretty soon, but I have a feeling if I'm magically overloaded and then I also have high charge, that might be a bad thing if she gives birth and then immediately dies. So I might have to stop doing this soon. Okay, yeah, let's just stop doing that because I'm overcharged again. Well, it's Friday evening and the cow plant is still not grown. We have one more day. And why is she not having this baby? It's been way too long. She should have had the baby by now. Okay, finally we have gone into labor. All right, well, let's see what babies we got. We have a girl. And her name is going to be Tanisha. No, why do we have twins? I don't have any fertility buffs and I don't have on Leyline. Twins, why? Okay, Julissa. Okay, we had twins. I swear she does not have the fertility trait. Why did we have twins? She doesn't have the fertility trait. It was just dumb luck. Great. That's so awesome. Okay, I broke down and made a little bedroom over here. So now we have a separate room for the bedroom. Okay, we still have the curse of uncontrollable charge, but we don't have the warning about dying. So maybe we can come over here and get overloaded again. Okay, we're overloaded again, or overcharged, not necessarily overloaded. Okay, we did overload this time. And of course, we started a fire. Okay, put the fire out, hurry up. I still did not get a curse. I'm so disappointed. Okay, maybe I can duel and get curses, but I'm going to have to wait for this overload to wear off. Okay, it's Saturday morning. Hopefully this cow plant today grows up. If it doesn't grow up today, we are basically going to lose this quest. Okay, it's the newborn's birthdays, which means we're going to have infants. That's fun. And Tanisha is going to be cautious. And Julissa is going to be sensitive. I wonder if they're spellcasters. Oh, they are? They have weak bloodline. Okay, actually, Julissa is not a spellcaster. And Tanisha is. It doesn't tell you with the plumb bob, but if you look at their icon, the needs icon as a smiley face, that means this is not a spellcaster. But she does have weak bloodline. And then Tanisha is a spellcaster because she has the spellcaster icon. So we got one spellcaster and one not a spellcaster. That's fine. I wonder if she's in a bad mood and then gets overcharged. If that will give me a curse. Well, it gives me a fire. 
Okay, she's an adept, but she's going to overcharge. And please tell me that after this overload, we will get a curse. Won't it be great if we have two infants to take care of and we have the Night Wraith curse? That would be awesome. Well, doesn't look like we're that lucky. Okay, getting cursed is just super rare. And the problem is that I'm not even buying any perks that reduce it. Ooh, I can hex my potions to have them always fail if I get the potent potables. That might be handy. If I have a bunch of failed potions, maybe that will allow me to get cursed. I don't want failure rate reduced, though. Okay, no sign of the cow plant yet. I don't think it's going to happen. And the bad thing is, if this cow plant does end up growing up after today, then what's going to happen is I'm going to accidentally let it die before the next time I get this quest. And then it won't count if I eat the cake. And I won't be able to eat the cake when I get the quest again because this cow plant is going to die. I can't keep them alive. It's just too hard. Okay, now we have a snapdragon. Not that it matters, but I guess we'll get one. <laughs> It's the Finchwick Fair, and I'm just looking for things that are rare. I see rainbow wool and a rainbow treat, but that's not going to matter. <laughs> no, nothing I really wanted. Okay, let's check the other stall. No, nothing from him either. We'll haggle, though, because we can sell our items for a larger profit that way. Oh, and he doesn't want to haggle. Fine. Okay, Birdie is asked to out on a date. Oh, and we're getting into a duel? Um, this is bad. This is actually bad. They're auto-dueling me. I don't want that. I'm going to overload again. Stop it. That's not fair. Okay, don't duel me again. Don't duel me. I'm in trouble. We have to cancel this date. We're... Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, he had a nice time. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta get out of here before she dies. Okay, Eleanor has come over for a stayover because we have infants now. So, oh, I got rid of the buff. I don't have it anymore. Okay, so it's not such a big deal. But I want to be careful because if I overload and then I get pulled into a bunch of duels... I'm going to get overloaded again and die. So the buff actually wore off. So I'm okay to overload again. Just not too many times. Okay, so I don't think we're going to get the cow plant. That is unfortunate. But we will assign this bed here to Eleanor. We will be ready for the next time we have that quest. Okay, maybe I do want to lose some duels. Because I think that might give us another curse, hopefully. So Eleanor is going to take care of the infants. I'm going to try and get this curse of the Night Wraith, but uh, I don't know. It's just going to be really tough to get. Okay, my charge is definitely way too high. I'm just going to overload right here during the middle of the duel. Yeah, and because of that, I beat Morgan. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to overload here. Oh, I did it! I did it! I got the Curse of the Night Wraith! All right! Okay, that is... At the same time, bad and good, because now my energy is always going to be terribly, terribly low. However, once we get that quest, we will be able to, um, yeah, we will be able to, to fix it. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to fix it, because I do not have any curse lifting ability. Can I ask the sages... No, I can't ask the sages for knowledge when they're not here. And I don't have hardly any spells. So I'm going to have to send them home now. 
or maybe I'll just go take a shower real quick. Oh, I wonder if Geetri's ability will help me. Probably not, but I just want to see. Probably not, because the packs are usually not um, self-conflicting like that. If I ask him to help me with my energy need, it shouldn't work because I'm supposed to be always tired. No, I don't feel energized. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now the only way we do not get that quest finished, if we get it, is that we can't lift the curse because I can't find a curse lifting ability. Oh, I could just buy it with satisfaction points. I could, couldn't I? Okay, so there's a cure curse in here. That seems like cheating, but I might use it for the other two curses that I have. Nah, I'm going to risk it. I'm not going to spend the satisfaction points on it. I'm going to keep these curses, which are really dangerous curses, all together. Until I can get the cure curse ability. Oh, I can't sleep. That is funny. I was going to sleep because I thought, hey, I'll try and get rid of my uncomfortable buffs but nope i can't do that well i have no idea what i'm going to do then she took my trash to the dump she did that's why there's no more trash i was wondering why there's no more trash okay yeah it's 11 p.m and eleanor is flirting with gidri oh well it's 11 p.m. and this cow plant has not grown. So I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to spin the losing wheel. Okay, so what penalty are we going to get for this one? No! I... <laughs> okay, this is unfortunately another way I'm not going to get the Night Wraith thing. Lose all occult powers and rank, which means I also have to go back to being human. This is unfortunate. Okay, I actually wanted to reset everything about my spellcaster, and I was able to take them down to Apprentice with cheats, but you have to go down incrementally one rank at a time. But I wasn't able to get rid of her spells. So what I had to do is, on James Turner's website, there is a Disable Pack command that basically allows you to disable the realm of magic pack load up the game without realm of magic save the game and then close it and load it back up with realm of magic and then when i turned her back into a spellcaster now she has none of her spells so she completely is reset as far as spellcaster goes that's unfortunate but that's what i really wanted to do for this penalty because that's just the hardest thing to get and if you do it early then it makes it not much of a challenge so we will have to wait until we get that again and i'll go ahead and humanize her again so that means the infants are also humanized and they lost their weak bloodline trait. And that's actually a good thing because it's harder to get curses when you have that trait. So we will have to do that over again, unfortunately. But this is Charity. Thanks for watching.